My dog was in that hole. His body, once so full of life, was buried in the ground. You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hello, friends. John Willard here. I have another great show for you today. And if you would be so kind to hit the subscribe button down below for CNA TV. Oh, our journey is a process. Our journey shows us not only the world, but our purpose in it. Our journey is a discovery of our struggles, our beliefs, and our passions. Our journey brings us face to face with ourselves. It brings us together with our relationships. The past comes most colorfully alive when it's told through the memories of those who really lived it. Discover the peace you've been searching for and begin to understand and experience what true happiness really is. My hope is that by sharing with you, my fellow traveler, I will have enriched your journey, enlarge my heart with a story, and change me by the characters I meet there Pups and I were up at 4 a.m. this morning after food for the pups, oatmeal and coffee for me. We took in the sights and sounds of the Ozarks. As sunrise breaks into daylight, I smile. I'm glad to have had these moments. I'm thankful for the peace of this morning and the beauty of the Ozarks. It disturbs me how much this hole looks like a grave, I said. My son said, that was only to be expected, considering that was exactly what it was. I knew that, of course. But as I explained to him, when I had first started digging, it had just been a hole. A hole in the ground that was meant to fit my dog. But I couldn't focus on that if I wanted to get the task done. It's something I had been doing in some form or another all year. My wife told me that Tuffy wasn't going to make it to the end of the year, at the beginning of April. I wasn't really sure how to react. I had already lost three dogs in my life and wasn't keen to cry over another one. Also, I had other things to worry about. Although Tuffy had been wild and rambunctious as a puppy, <laughs> he had turned into a sour old man as the years went by. My son said that the hole was probably wide enough now and that it just needed to be deeper. Half again deep, he said. That struck me as an odd phrase. I interacted with Tuffy when I went for my evening walk Tuffy would follow me whenever I took a walk. But I noticed he struggled to walk a tenth of a mile before he had to turn back. His back leg struggled to lift him from a lying position. I was digging a hole, not a grave. I briefly swung the shovel from one end of the hole to the other, measuring Tuffy in my mind. Tuffy was still alive out back, but just barely. 
I went out back and cried like a six-year-old, but it didn't seem real. How could I be crying over my dog when he was right here? The reality didn't really hit me until I overheard my wife that night saying that Tuffy was gone. Sadly, it all hit me. My dog was in that hole. His body, once so full of life, was buried in the ground. Two rocks piled on top. The hole I had been digging earlier that day, I had just been digging a hole. When did it become a grave? A lot of folks like clothes and hats, but my favorite things are dogs and cats. I love them all. They are most dear. I feed them, pet them, hold them near. I love them much when they are here. And when they are gone, I'll shed a tear. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. Friends, I'm out of time. I've got to give the pups some chow, you know. So I'll see you next week for another show. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 Until next week, this is John Willard from the farm.